Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we decided, I decided, and a client of mine decided, we should do a video of just the four puppies that are still available. I would never get in here with more than four. This is bad enough. But no one, I'm going to bop you if you can lick me in the face. Um, so what we're going to do is these four are still available. There's three girls and the boy is the Merle Party. Uh, he is also the double blue eye. Oh yes, I see them on both. Um, he's the double, I know, I know, you're just needy. You're all needy, I'm gonna sit on you. Um, they're all doing great. Today is their seven week birthday. So next week, uh, the ones of them that are being spayed and neutered are going to the vet and have that done. I don't know that I'm taking the four of them. Um, if they are still here and still available, I probably will not take them next week. Um, so we have a little bit of everything range-wise in size. I know, they're just so needy today. I know it. Um, so we're gonna go through and give you microchip numbers. This is why you never sit, sit with six and seven week old puppies. Nine week is just out of the question. No, no. No, no. Every one of you is going to get swatted. Um, so if it's a puppy of my own and I work on them in a normal situation where they're not in a group, they would not be this needy. But this one knows that this one's getting attention and it wants the attention. No, no, no. And uh, I know you're being very good. Yes, you are. So I know I'll get you. I know. Yeah, sometimes the littlest ones are the stinkingest. We been, we babied her when she was little anyway. So we're going to go through and give you microchip numbers. And I can't find my regular microchipper. So we got the little dinky one. Um, they just had a bath today. Brittany gave them all a bath this morning. I am desperately going to try and get some new pictures on. I'm hoping. I can't promise it. Not today. This week is like... We've got a graduation this week, and this is just one of those weeks. Uh, not because of the dogs, it's because of everything else in her life right now. So, um, let's get started. These guys can start going home. I think they're eight-week birthday. I should have looked. It's the day after spay and neuters. Um, so, I think it's the 17th they can start going home. No. No shoes. Um... And I think I've said that before. It's on here on the videos. Also, you're probably going to see this video first. And you're going to go, oh, where's the rest of the dogs? So there will be two videos on top of the website this week. The first one will be the four juvenile delinquents that are left. <laughs> yeah. uh, then the one under that is the ones that are all sold. Hey, pst. No shoes. No shoes. No shoes. She says, but i got to try. No. No shoes. Um, somebody asked me also, is there black ones in here? No, no black. Brittany, you might want to step on that bag or it's going to join you. Um, stop. Oh, yeah, Brittany's got noisy stuff. All right, so let's see. This will be interesting. Usually they all want to get in the scale. And while they're fighting, we we'll start with the green collar. So this is microchip number 1812. This is a female. She is a phantom. Whoop. She's got a really bright neon green collar. She's going to have brown legs, brown eyebrows. <laughs> He's having his own entertainment looking out the fence. Uh, brown up the back of the legs. Right now, there's no color change on the body. This one looks like it's going to st try to get its tail. <laughs> This one looks like it's going to be a, an all phantom. Black body, brown eyebrows, or silver eyebrows. Oh my golly, are you just a juvenile or what? <laughs> they needed to go outside and play before we did this. Uh, no shoes. Nope, no shoes. All right, well, they're all gone. Let me see if I can get this done. I doubt it. Four pounds, 6.4. It looks like where it's going to stop. So she is four pounds, 6.4. Expected litter size on these guys. Um, they're going to, their mom is almost 30 pounds. She's about 28 to 29 pounds. Dad is 16 pounds. And so I expect this litter to go somewhere between 
you're probably looking at, even with the little one, I'd say 15 to 20 on the littlest ones, and some of these bigger ones could go clear up to the high 20s. I know I pinned you down, didn't I? I know it. You're just a juvenile delinquent. All right, this is the male. We're going to do him first. This is the only male. Huge coat. He's a merle. He's got really nice merling on his ears. And he's got, if I can hold him still and Brittany can get these eyeballs, he has double blue eyes. No, don't bite my fingers. Do they show it all? Do they? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, yep, yeah, he can't reach me. And uh, it's got merling on the back end. He's got Merle on one leg, he's got Merle on his tail, and the other leg has nothing. Oh, goodness sake. All right, let's see what he weighs. This one I think is 6.8 or 9 this morning. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get this done or not. All right, let's see how this works. No, 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 no. Let me think. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, turn around. <laughs> All right, six pounds, oh, six pounds, six something. All right, we're at like six pounds, six point something. I think I think Brittany's was 6.8. Stop. Yeah, I know you're so bad. Oh my, get in and go play. Um, all right, so the last two in here, no bite. This one is the female. She's the bigger of the three females. She's got a big white spot on her chest. She is not gonna stay black. You can see underneath of here, all this is turning colors. The black tipping eventually, I think, will go. I think you're gonna end up underneath with, with being a buffy, kind of a... Her grandma was this color. She's like a really pretty blondish reddish under here. That's my microchipper. And her microchip number is, I forgot to give you his. Uh, 1823 is this one's microchip number. Let me do this again just to make sure. Yep, this is 1823. She has, her hair so long, she has a red collar on. No bite. You know better than bite fingers. No. 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 Okay. Move your body. I'm not sitting with the other eight. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm going to do to you? I'm pinning you in my arm. I'm pinning, I can handle the little one, but I'm going to pin you down. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Five pounds, 8.4 maybe. Nope, stay in there. I'm not letting you go. No, I'm keeping you right there where you're at. Five pounds, 7.4. Ta-da, we actually got to wait. Okay, now you can be free. So that's the stats on her, and you can see even on the top of her head, she's changing. So she will absolutely change colors. She's going to be really pretty, kind of a buffy, blondish red under there. No, no. When you get a, a puppy home and it's doing this at your face or if you have kids, you need to reach across it and crack it on the nose and say, no bite. If you do, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Let me give you a toy. You're never going to get him to quit. No, no, no. No. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with you. No, you're just getting wilder and wilder. No. So if you finally set your foot down, they'll listen. But if you just keep pushing and keep pushing, it becomes a game. All right. No. No. Changed his mind. All right. So this one is the yellow collar. And she is, no. See, that makes a big difference when you finally crack them. Three pounds, 4.6. And it does, you don't have to hurt them. It's just, you gotta get their attention and say, we're not doing this anymore, bud. So you'll get a whole different personality and nope. And when you correct him, don't go back and pet him and say, oh, it's okay. It's not okay. If you were here and you watched him with their mom, at this point, she'd kill him. Uh, if he would go up and bite a nipple or do something to her, she's going to bump him once with her nose. And then the next time, she probably will growl. If he does it again, she's going to bite him. And you see where he's at? All it took was just a stern no, and he really got the message I was not going to screw around with him. Are you going to potty? Why are you looking? 
I don't like that looking motion that you're doing. No. Nope. So this little peanut is the littlest in the litter. And she is, no. She is looking like she's going to stay phantom. So she's all black underneath here. She's got brown on her legs. And she's got, but the only thing that's kind of different for me is that all around her eyes are silver. So I can't tell you or promise you that six months down the road, she's not gonna turn color under here. Because normally on a phantom, they only have the eyebrows and on the cheek right here, not under the eyeballs. So I can't tell, but there's no color change as of right now. So she's the littlest in the litter and doing really good. So I think we got everybody. Yeah. And Mr. Know-it-all here is being really good. No shoes, no shoes. These are new shoes or I wouldn't do this. Um, your shoes can bring Parvo into your home just from, I see you being a nice girl now. Yeah, you're being a nice girl. Um, from where you walk, Parvo lasts in the ground for six months. So when you get a new puppy and you wanna drag it all over the neighborhood and show everybody in the neighborhood, it's not a good idea because you can come in contact with Parvo and never know it. There could be an old pile of puppy poop or dog poop that is disintegrated and in the ground, but is still there, uh, or urine that is there that you can't see that has Parvo in it, and you let your dog lick your, no, no, we're not doing that anymore. Let your dog lick your shoes, and you're gonna find out four, three or four days later, maybe five days, your dog comes down with Parvo. So stick at home. If you wanna go and take your dog for a walk around the block, get a front pack. Um, let it go to the bathroom before you leave, put it in the front pack, and go take a two-mile hike. They're going to love it. Um, but in your neighborhood where there's other dogs or dog parks or puppy obedience classes, what are you eating? Let me have it. No, it's okay. Um, don't go do a puppy socialization class till you get all of your shots under your belt. I know you're being a very good girl now. Yes, you are. No. No licking. No. I hate licking. I absolutely hate licking. Um, so other than that, that's about all I can tell you. You want me to pet you now? Yeah, I will pet you and you're being a good boy. Yeah, you're being a good boy. No, get wound or I'll pop you. No, be good boy. That's a good boy. If you have little kids, don't leave your little kids alone with these guys when they're little. You saw how he was with me until I really, ah, no. <laughs> until I, uh, cracked down on him. He's not going to quit with your kids. He'll get in their face. He'll scratch their faces. It's a puppy thing. Um, these guys all play with each other with their mouth. So they're going to work on you with their mouth also. And if you don't want it, you got to stop it. You can quit it in the first two days. I can't tell you how often I have people call me at four months into it and go, we can't do this anymore. The dog's drawing blood. The dog won't let us in our own bed. It growls when we get in our bed. I said, why is it in your bed to begin with? At four months old, it should still be in a crate at night. And no. And uh, depending on what you don't let it do, I know, I'll pet you, but you can't do that. They'll learn a lot quicker if you really ride shotgun with your kids and don't leave them alone with your kids. And you're not gonna make this dog hate you. A dog likes to be in a pack. If you're not the pack leader, this dog has begun to come your, yeah your nightmare and your pack leader and uh, it can get really ugly if you don't start right off from the bat not letting them have or do everything they want to do so um, that's my grumbly part of this with the dogs but oh I can't tell you how many calls I get when people no, when people tell me no no uh, they'll say well I've tried everything I give it a toy I tell it no, I squeeze its nose shut. Well, that would tick me off if you squeezed my nose shut. Just give him a quick pop and get it over with and tell him no bite and uh, or no lick, whichever it is. No, no, no. I'll pet you, but you can't lick me. No, no. Good baby, that's good. Come here, come here. I'll pet you, yep, but I won't let you lick me. No, no licking. No licking. Good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. All right, I'm out of here. We're going to get the big guys, put them in the, uh, put them in the yard, and uh, take
take a video of them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that gave you a good look at what these guys looked at and looked like. And we got some good close-up face pictures because I don't know that I'm going to get pictures done. Um, no. Just thought you'd sneak in there on my fingers, didn't you? So um, other than that, that's all I have to throw at you. Their toenails will get done this week. Uh, they'll get a they get a bath every week. No, no, no. Stubborn, you are stubborn. I'll tell you. The other thing is these guys schnoodles are smart. Oh my golly, are they smart? If you talk to people that have them and have raised them, they'll tell you how smart they are. And sometimes they're smarter than their owners, but uh, sometimes that can't be helped. I know it's he's a good girl, but no, see, there goes that tongue. Yep. And sometimes that baby voice uh, is really bad. So talk to him like an adult. No, 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 no bite, no lick, no nothing, no nothing. That tongue of yours is always out. Yes, it is. <laughs> so have a great week. Um, if you are new to us, we are located in central Ohio, and we've been doing this for over 32 years. So um, call me with questions if you have questions. I don't mind whatsoever. Nope. No. Nope. This may be the biggest litter we have this year. I don't know that I'm going to breed Cookie. It's still so up in the air. Um, she had 15 puppies, her very first litter. This will be her second litter, and I'm scared to death she'll do that again. And I don't know that I want to do it because we have to bottle feed at least seven of them. Um, or we have to just let Mother Nature let them die on their own to where Mother can take care of what's left, and I can't do that. I just, I can't. So, uh, other than that, um, I don't know. This may be the biggest litter for this year, size-wise. Um, I hope the biggest number in the litter this year, that's for sure. So have a great day. Have a blessed rest of your week. Call me with questions, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.